go ahead and try this hard ACT math question. This is a question you would find towards the end of the ACT math section. This is a question that I based off of, I think, a number 60 on one of the more recent ACT tests. So one of the hardest questions, but if you know how to approach it, it's actually not that bad at all. So the equation, this, has two vertical asymptotes and one horizontal asymptote. What is the horizontal asymptote? If you recall from your graphs, a horizontal asymptote is essentially what happens to the equation or the function as x gets really, really big or as x gets really small. So for example, and by small I mean really negative. So if I had a function that looked like this, actually let's do it like this. Notice as x gets really small, in other words really negative, and as x gets really big, in other words as x goes to positive or negative infinity, this graph flattens out and in fact it approaches some asymptote, some line with the equation y equals whatever, negative 2 or whatever it is in this case, right? But this function will approach it and never touch or cross the asymptote and that's a horizontal asymptote. So notice right away from this discussion we know our horizontal asymptote has to have the equation y equals something. So right away, if you knew that, you can get rid of a, b, and c without much trouble. Now, the question would be, given this, how can we find the horizontal asymptote for this particular equation? Now, you could take this and put it in your graphing calculator and see what the graph looks like and try to find what that horizontal line would be. It's a bit hard to do, though. It depends on your calculator. Some calculators can handle it okay. Others, it's, you have to play with the window. The resolution isn't very good. So really what we want is an algebraic way to tackle this question. And it's actually pretty straightforward once you remember the rule. So you take your equation, y equals 3x squared plus 7x plus 2, x squared plus 7x plus 6. You take your equation and you look at the highest ordered term on the top and the bottom. In other words, you look for the term on the top and you look for the term on the bottom that has the highest exponent. And in this case, for both, it's a squared. You ignore the other terms now because they're irrelevant when you're just looking for the horizontal asymptote. And then you have to remember the following three rules. If the exponent on the bottom is bigger than the exponent on the top, then what you get is a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. If the bottom is bigger than the top. If the top is bigger than the bottom, you have no horizontal asymptotes. In other words, the function goes to either infinity or negative infinity, as the case may be. But there's no horizontal asymptote if the exponent on top is bigger than the exponent on bottom. If, as in this case, the exponent on the bottom equals the exponent on the top, then what you need to do is look at the ratio of the coefficients of that term. In this case, it's 3 to 1. Because remember, there's a 1 there that's just not written. So 3 to 1, in other words, 3. And that tells you that y equals 3 would be the horizontal asymptote for that particular equation. So in this case, e would, whoops, in this case, e would be the answer. So as you can see, not too bad once you remember, or once you know, the trick for finding horizontal asymptotes. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.